a degenerate uncle, sex with a dead body, the wild thing, hoverboards, and Rick Moranis three times? Looking back, that sounds quite possibly like one of the best years of our lives in cinematic history. So jump in the station wagon as we head to the theater to check out the memorable movies that closed out the 1980s. Hello again. It's Tuesday, so that means you're joining us for a brand new episode of Totally 80s and 90s Recall. This is a podcast where we'll take a look at everything the awesome decades of the 1980s and 90s had to offer from music and movies to television and pop culture. If you're new to the show, be excited that you found us as you were about to have a pretty rad time. And for our returning listeners and subscribers, it's great to have you back. I am one of your hosts, David. Joined as always by a man who, like Yanish, loves to be dripping with Zagoo. It is, of course, the one and only Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Dripping with the goo. All right. Hey, uh, for some reason, when you're in the studio, it's mailbag time. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. People seem to know when you're here, we, we get letters. So That's right. Uh, it's mailbag time. Today's letter comes to us from Harry in New York City. He writes, hey, guys, years ago, I carpooled with my, at the time, girlfriend's uh, friend to New York City. She was attending journalism school in New York City, and I had a job waiting. During the drive, we started to discuss our differing ideas about relationships. She disagreed with my assertion that men and women can't be friends as the sex part gets in the way. We stopped at a diner, and when I told her she was very attractive, she angrily accused me of making a pass. We parted company in New York, never intending to see each other again. Some years later, we found ourselves on the same flight. She was dating my neighbor, and I was engaged. I suggested we become friends, forcing me to qualify my previous position about the impossibility of male-female friendships We separated, concluding that we will not be friends. Still some years later, we ran into each other at a bookstore. We had a uh, a coffee and talked about our previous relationships. She had broken up with her boyfriend and my fiance had left me for another man. We agreed to pursue a friendship. We had a late night phone conversations, went to dinner and spent some time together discussing our uh, love lives. During a New Year's Eve party, we found ourselves growing attracted to each other and shared an awkward midnight kiss. We remained friends and each uh, each other. We set each other up with our respective best friends. When the four of us went out, neither of us, neither of our friends were attracted to e- either of us. Instead, they immediately fell for each other and got engaged. One night, she tearfully called me to say that her ex was getting married. I went to her apartment to comfort her, but we ended up having sex. No, oh. yeah, it's getting spicy. Spicy. <laughs> I left the next morning feeling awkward and filled with regret. Our friendship cooled until we had a heated argument at our friend's wedding reception. I attempted to mend the relationship, but she felt that we could no longer be friends. Rob, Dave, and Kurt, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I think I love her. I know I just can't show up there and tell her I love her and expect that that'll make everything all right. It doesn't work that way. What do I say? What do I do? Signed, Helpless in New York. You've almost become like what? Uh, dear Abby. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. So, so dear, here, so dear, dear Robbie. Yeah. Dear so Robbie. <laughs> well, Harry, the totally eighties and nineties recall team put our collective experience together and we offer you the following suggestion. Oh, here's what you're going to do. You're going to walk up to her and you're going to say something like this. I love that you get cold when it's 71 degrees out. I love that it takes you an hour and a half to order a sandwich. I love that you get a little crinkle above your nose when you're looking at me like I'm nuts. I love that after I spend a day with you, I can still smell your per- uh, perfume on my clothes. And I love that you are the last person I want to talk before or talk to before I go to sleep at night. And you're going to emphasize that it's not because you're lonely or because it's New Year's Eve or some other special occasion. You let her know that you came there because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of the life to start right now and as soon as possible. Our team is confident that after saying these words, it will be impossible for her to hate you, and we predict that the two of you will be married within three months. Best of luck, Harry. There you go. There you go. All right. You're like a certified relationship counselor now. Well. So, you know, after that awkward night of uh, passion they had, 
Harry, much like you, Rob, may have also been drippings with the goo. <laughs> oh, gross. Well, here's uh, your. Uh, Alrighty, well, we're going to apologize to the Humphreys uh, girls. Humphreys okay. girls. There it is. It's got to start we're quick. Four minutes in. Yes, four minutes. Well, every, seems... every time I'm here, I don't know what it is. You guys are perfectly fine without wow. me. Well, uh, you've heard that extra voice we have, and it seems like it's been a very long time. But joining us back in the studio today, the movie hound himself. Oh! <laughs> Wow, we have you a, get a hell of an applause. We dude. have an in-studio we, audience. Yes, yeah. we do. We've missed him <laughs> greatly. It is, of course, the one and only Curto. <laughs> Curto. It's, st- it's stuck, just like wow. the Robsters. I like Curto. it. <laughs> Get me a shirt, please. Curto. Right. <laughs> oh, well, hello, gentlemen. <laughs> I hope we can be excellent to each other today. Oh, we oh. always are. And remember, oh, we need to be nice yes. until it's time not to be not nice. Not to be nice. Oh. Yeah, we'll let you know when that is, Rob. All right. Don't, don't yeah. worry. Don't stress out you too much know. about it. We'll tell you. Okay. Yeah. okay. We don't like you to have to, we don't like you making your own decisions. <laughs> so, this is true. Who knows what happens when that happens? So <laughs> true. Well, yeah. well, I got something we can decide on. We can decide to all hear what today's episode is going to be all about. You got me mid sip again. Yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be talking about oh, we're, uh, we're doing a we're doing a movie draft. We are. This is a first of first movie first draft. First movie draft. Uh, Nineteen eighty nine. Yes. Ooh. Movie draft. Yes. Yeah. We are going to uh, as I said at the beginning. We're ending the excesses and fun of the 80s today by looking at what we think might be the best movies that were released in 1989. Okay. Uh, Looking back at a year where we were much younger and may have had much different tastes in movies before we start drafting. Yeah. uh, What did you guys think of the collection of movies for this year overall? I think the uh, movies you handed us were ah, excellent. Ah, okay. Yes, we. I know Rob has problem with you know being confined. The draft to, class sucks. No, it no, it does yes, not. It does. And all the people online are going to. I say, think it'll be remembered as one of the best. We mm. had a, we had a draft class of thirty five movies. Yeah, that's Rob. a lot of movies. We you can't increased find it. We seven. There's it, a problem. Yeah, we did. By it was five. Request. It was thirty, but we upped it to thirty five. <laughs> yeah, per Rob's request. We had to get a few. Uh, you didn't think thirty was enough movies no. to choose? That's right. Between so, three guys and having to pick seven each. That's not that That's hard. only 21. That, but There's still only a lot of extra. And you had they're, 30. But the ones that are left are dumb. They're not dumb. <laughs> and we will prove that they're not uh, dumb. Rob, that means I'm going to tell you, I'm going to pick some of the dumb ones. So yes. it's okay. Good. We like the dumb ones. Good. I, I will also probably get some of the dumb ones. We, <laughs> we like the dumb ones. So, According uh, to my wife, I like the dumb ones. Okay. My wife. My, <laughs> my wife. My wife is not the dumb one, okay. but I do like dumb oh, movies. I'm glad I, you I clarified to, that. I had to clarify that. I'm sorry. Yeah, that you always been, pick the dumb one. could have been a problem. <laughs> I'm a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to forgive our friend. Uh, well, I found a lot of arguments on the internet that 1989 was the best year for movies, particularly in the summer, summer blockbuster okay. styles yeah. of the entire decade of the 1980s. To start off, know. huge year for sequels of iconic 80s movies franchises like Back to the Future, uh-huh. The Karate Kid, Indiana Jones, Lethal Weapon, and Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Also, one of the most anticipated movies of any summer in the 80s was released as Tim Burton's Batman ruled the theaters. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even besides those mega blockbuster movies, you had great artistic films, family films, rom-coms, and even the start of the animated movie resurgence. Yeah. So overall, 1989 really was a pretty great year at the theater and an awesome way to close out the 80s. Yeah. Seven movies broke the $100 million mark in ticket sales, with one breaking $200 million. And overall, 1989 had over $4 billion in ticket sales at box office with movies making an average of $17 million per release. In fact, in 1989, Americans spent more money at the movies than they had in the entire, uh, any other year in the 1980s to start the decade. So, wow. Uh, wow Americans, look at that research. Good yeah, job. Americans only spent just over a billion at the beginning of the decade, spent over $4 billion at the end. So, you did your homework. Sometimes. Yeah. Wow. You told and he so. said he didn't he prepare a lot. No, I, I <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I wouldn't say I, pre- yeah, he, I didn't prepare a lot on the movies because oh. I know them so well. Yeah. But I, I was getting a little info because Rob gets you know he gets a little tingle hair on the back of his neck when I do good information. <laughs> he and likes then, you know, the research. I he never, likes the research. Yeah, yeah. You you never you've <laughs> never give me the tingle. No, always. <laughs> I'm just kind of give him the Robbie tingle. Say, the Robbie tingle. That's no. twice with Robbie today. Three right. times. And it's okay. <laughs> if we're gonna go with Robbie. No, it's with a Y. Yeah, don't do I E. <laughs> no, no, nobody does. <laughs> well, apparently people thought that's uh, how it was. That, it got spelled that way before. I've got a lot of the elementary school yearbooks with oh, nice. IE on it. Uh, it was always from the ladies, and he's like, You yeah. don't even know my name. Yeah. 
<laughs> Those are the same kids. Like, uh, I hope you have a good summer. Yeah. It was. You're a great before. friend. Yeah. Friend yeah, yeah. zone. Yeah. Friend zone. Yeah. Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't specify with the why, so you should have been That's more true. clear yeah. with the ladies. So. That's why I just went to Rob later in life. I was like, I just let's yeah. just. Well, cut the confusion. And to just, be fair, once you to reach a certain age, <laughs> Robbie's probably you yeah. probably run the end of that name yeah. out. So yeah. Rob seems to make more sense. And then people would ask, "Is it Bob?" Yeah, no, never been Bob. It's no. never been Bob. I, I, been. I still don't understand how Rob goes to Bob. You I could, don't either. You could be a Bob. I was like, it wasn't until not too long ago that I realized that Bert Bert is short for Robert. No, yeah, I didn't know that. Or Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, Rob Bertha. <laughs> Rob Bertha. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, that's a good yeah, one. I could if I have a, if you have uh, another, uh, if you get another dog uh, or something, call it Rob Bertha. I have another kid. <laughs> another oh. kid. Is your wife Rob aware Bertha. of this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like four on the way? <laughs> well, we'd have, there's, you've got we'd have them, to have some conversations about that. You've got them all in the middle happened, in high so. school now. You want to start all over no, back at the beginning? I'm yes. done. It seems like I'm a, done. The, but uh, I think Curdo and I, we ended that scenario a long time ago yes. as did i oh yeah. and you're good we're, we're good yep oh, we're good. it would take yeah. it would take a minor I know, miracle that's time that we we'd have to have a there'd be some discussions <laughs> about how that happened yeah, yeah. yeah. i had yeah. one sleeper left yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been waiting 10 yeah. years somehow i've reattached <laughs> this is my, this is my day yeah. you had one one soldier of love left <laughs> donny osmond inspired that's you that's right <laughs> Hey, okay. So speaking of research, <laughs> this is a little off, but it okay. I think it's pertinent. Oh, so okay. you so as I was doing my research for the movies. Oh, yes. Uh, p- part of the uh, research was including kind of looking at what rotten the folks over at Rotten Tomato. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, and it got me to thinking because some of the movies on the list I noticed had a really big gap between critic and audience. Yes, like a pretty significant gap. Mm-hmm, like yeah. there's always some, you know you're a couple points off, but some of these were. Way off. Drastic. Yes. So it got me to thinking, what are the biggest, what are the movies with the biggest gaps? Gaps. So I, I did the top three. So number three is Star Wars The Last Jedi, 2017. It's got a 49% divide. Oh, Critics were 91% and audience was 42. Yeah, they didn't like it as much. Yeah. <laughs> number two is Venom, 2018. 50% divide. Critics are 30% and the audience was 81 and then the number one is the Boondock Saints, 1999. I don't like that movie. <laughs> the, it's got a 64% divide. Critics say 27%. The audience, 91. It's one of those underground, mm-hmm. like people like Yeah, I mm-hmm. watched it and eh, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm okay. So have you seen that? it? I have, but it's been a while and yeah, been I don't go back to it. And it's not no. something I'm like, ooh, no. I got to watch that. Mm-hmm. So, I thought that was interesting. That, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, since Rob's sipping, we'll go ahead and move to the next part. <laughs> yeah. uh, from Gotham City to the beautiful landscapes of Cleveland, Ohio. We'd like to have what she's having as we revisit the best movies of 1989. Well, after returning from Blockbuster, before you grab your popcorn and M&Ms, you want to ensure you never miss any episodes of Totally 80s and 90s Recall, so take a second, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and then share it with a friend so they can enjoy the cinematic masterpiece that is this podcast for all the things that made the 80s and 90s completely awesome. Right, Rob? Cinematic masterpiece? masterpiece. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. It seems relevant to what we're okay. doing today, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah, I, he I, never backs me up. We're trying to like really, you know, get people interested. He's a salesman, and you're like, hey, yeah. what? You know, yeah. I okay, so yeah, you'd have been terrible at like uh, a, <laughs> a stereo store. Hey, does this sound? It sounds I don't okay. Know. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. Okay, so this true story. We were looking to build our house. We were when we first bought our property, we we're going to build a house on it. So we went to a manufactured home place, and my wife's very uh, thorough. So yeah. she came in with a little yellow pad, and we were going to. We weren't really sure that's the route we wanted to go. And so we're asking all kinds of questions. And we went back a second day, peppered him with some more questions. And what about this? What about that? And I can remember the guy sitting, he, he, I think he finally reached a point where he was done with the questioning. Oh, it was too much, too much. And I remember him kind of kicking back in his chair. He put his feet up on his desk and he went, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't get myself to buy one. (laughs) And so we were like, okay, thank yeah. you so much. And you we'll go. be in touch. And we never call him back. <laughs> so like, here the guy, the guy. Remember that yeah. story when we're, now you're on the other side of it. So remember how he, oh, no, no, so no. there you go. Uh, I, I will, I will sell our product, <laughs> sell, kind of. but I'm going to, I'm going to be realistic and go, huh? 
Cinematic masterpiece. I wouldn't call it a cinematic right. masterpiece, well, but you'd be wrong. it might be entertaining. It is. There's no might. There might involved. be there might be moments of entertainment. You might yep. it, it might be some conversation starters. <laughs> All right, we'll let you stop digging that All hole. Right. So, <laughs> uh, well, as Rob said earlier, we are going to draft again today, but we're doing it for movies. Previously, we've done this a couple times for uh, music, but Kurt has joined us again in the studio. We're going to have some fun, and we're going to uh, we each get to do our top seven movies from 1989, and just like a real draft. Uh, I've identified 35 draft eligible movies consisting of the top 10 grossing movies of 1989 and then 25 other popular films, okay. according to I- IMDb. Uh, so with that, let's head into the draft room. Before coming on air, we scientifically drew names out of a hat to put our draft order together. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rob made all of the names. He put it in the coffee cup. I did. Kurt drew. I did. And I was awarded the number one pick. It was rigged. That's three in a row, by the way. So dumb. Uh, Rob (laughs) is going to draft second. Which sucks. Kurt will be drafting (laughs) third. Um, And we're doing this in a snake format. So at the end of the first round, uh, Kurt will pick twice in a row. And then when we get back to the top, uh, I will pick twice in a row. We'll do that till we all have seven songs. And I want everybody to know that as we're drawing names, you were you were very quick to point out. I hope Rob gets number two because <laughs> that's the sucky draft and order. What'd you get? Like got number, number two. two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they Rob call is him number two. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> Who do Does you work for? Two Does he, work for? <laughs> he definitely works for us today. All right. So. Now I will tell you all. This is my very first draft in my entire <laughs> life. Oh, nice. I've, I've never done fantasy drafts, no. or anything like really? that. It's my first draft. Ooh, wow. So he has so no I'm strategy. A, I'm a newbie. Oh. He has no strategy built in. Oh, He's, you've got strategy. I've got, I've got, got strategy. Strategy. Yeah, it's, right. nice. it's what I like and what's open. <laughs> what I like. It's, it's what, what I like. <laughs> you just pick what you like. That's right. Yeah. Why, why you, wouldn't you? Just and you know what, what I like? like? Rob's yeah. new haircut. Rob's new haircut. It is on camera today. It does look good. So um, yeah, it is have, good. You got some Dapper Dan in there. It's looking uh, sharp. Yeah. I'm just sad it's, I can't grow hair. You can. Yeah. You choose not to. It's this only was, in parts of my head. All right. This is the same haircut I had in 1996. And it looks <laughs> sharp. It looks it sharp is. then. Looks sharp now. You probably had mm-hmm. it during the 89 movie. So it's Did all right. you have yeah. the same amount in the front? Or was it a, a little it's, more it's, fruitful? It's, it's thinning. <laughs> it's okay. thinning. All right. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I still, I don't thin. I've got, yeah. you remember my dad? My dad had the full head. He did. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I, there's not a lot of risk. I'm gonna go yeah. uh, start losing <laughs> it anytime soon. Although it comes from, yeah. I think, the mom's side. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. So, yeah. but my mom has all her hair too. So. Yeah. No. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna go bald. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> well, yeah. You know. Most women keep their hair. I mean, there there no, are some out I've there. I've seen that the thin, thinning and the, the I've seen the balding. Bit, yeah. So yeah. And yeah. wigs show up. That's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. All right. Well, we've thing. delayed this as long as we can. <laughs> <laughs> we've delayed it as long Cinematic as possible. Cinematic masterpiece. Cinematic yes. masterpiece. Oral magic. Here right. it comes. Oral we magic. are ready to start the draft. I have the number one pick. I will be honest. I've been between about three movies here. If I got the number one pick and I'm still not uh, confident on which one I'm going to go with, I always thought I knew which one I would pick, but I'm actually going to pick the second one that I thought about Uh, because it's the one I've watched the most. It's the one I enjoyed the most at that time. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, number one, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Okay. 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 Uh, Okay. So I... uh, I just remember seeing this movie. And of course, at that age, what, 1989, I'm 13. Perfect age to see this movie. Uh, a lot of silly jokes. Uh, mm-hmm. I like when they call them Socrates instead of Socrates. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, everything's funny. And then mm-hmm. you talk like them, excellent this, heinous that. Yeah. Um, I liked it. Uh, we're going to do this movie later this mm-hmm. year in the summer. But I will say that I like the part where uh, Bill's dad kicks him out of his own bedroom to have sex with his stepmom. <laughs> and tells him, they tell him to go to yeah. the Circle K and gives yeah. him money, right? And I'm like, are they going to do that on his bed? Apparently they were going yes. to. So. Excellent! <laughs> uh, the one thing I saw was, uh, there was the, the research that I did. Uh, there was a tagline. And I, I looked for taglines on all the movies. Um, and it was what's supposed to grab you to want to go see it. Yeah. And so the tagline for this movie was, history is about to be rewritten by two guys that can't spell. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> yeah. So I did like their fancy names, though. Yes. Bill S. Preston, Esquire. Esquire. Yes, and right. Ted Theodore Logan. Logan. Yeah. Yes, they were good. We are 
wild stallions. Yeah, I remember that so. being one we qu- we quoted a lot on the playground. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Sixth Everyone grade, quoted. you know, twelve years old, sixth grade, and Perfect. running around. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. so that's my number one pick. <sighs> okay. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I do have that the Rotten Tomato on that was Critics 82, Audience 75. Ooh, so the yep. critics actually liked it more than the audience. Because it's great. That, that, wasn't, that would not have been one that I thought the critics would have liked more than the audience. But I mm-hmm. think because of the historical accuracy of it. That's right. You know, you know uh, yeah. we'll talk about this later, too. I don't want to go too far. Yeah. But <laughs> the, the butterfly effect did not uh, consist in that movie no, whatsoever because no. they – like, not when they took them know, back, nothing else happened. No, they just dropped them off. Yeah. Like Socrates had no problem going back to ancient Greece and going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. So, so this one and Back to the Future, really? Yeah. Not the same. Side. No yeah. butterfly effect. Nope. So. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that means it's time for number two to number get his two. second pick because he's so excited to pick at that spot. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Yeah, so sure. Yeah. So what do you got? Uh, I'm going with, with uh, Field of Dreams. Oh, wow. Oh, that yeah. is high up. Yes. This I was is not expecting that to go. This that is high. one of my Kevin Costner at number two. I all right. I had it farther down, but it was I, on my list. Yeah, yeah, I, it's on the list. I like this movie a lot. Um, I, I mean, it, I at this time in my life, you know, baseball was a was a thing. W- was a was huge in my life, and yes. so uh, baseball movies and baseball cards and uh, had the Midwest. So I put Midwest setting baseball. It's a movie about dads. Uh, it gets you in the feels. Feels. You know, the, <laughs> it's a, the exact same thing. Get I love me in it. my feels. You know, the whole Moonlight Graham thing where he nope. steps out the feel. Oh, my gosh. It's I so good. I will say but. to this day, I don't like Kevin Costner's wife in that movie. The actress oh, yeah. they got. Amy Matt. Like, uh, I, Matt I just don't like yeah. her. Yeah. 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 I just Nothing said, against I, her. If she's listening, I just didn't. Yeah. It didn't sell me as a good. I, I don't know. I, I wrote down here that she was annoying, but I guess she was oh, supposed yeah. to be a bit obnoxious yeah. as the old yeah. hippie. And she's like the old hippie. Yeah. I love you. I need you. I just don't. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but it was nominated for three Academy Awards, Best Picture, Best Original Score, and Best Adapted Screenplay. Kevin uh, Costner. Yeah. And it was, in 2017, it was selected for a preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. Ooh. Rotten Tomatoes has, it's almost split. 88% critics, 86% audience. Almost mm-hmm. uh, almost kind of neck and neck. So, um, yeah. I love the movie. Love it's it. It's my favorite. All yep. right. I put it in here uh, about Field of Dreams, about the feels. Feels. You guys still have your dad's mind has passed away. Oh, so yeah. it was just that one more oh. catch with dad. Yeah, well, I know. I, so. the, that scene, I can't watch it without getting kind of misty-eyed and yeah, choking down, up a little bit. Brought down yeah. the vibe a little bit down. there. Uh, yeah, but it let, you in, let you into the personal. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We do have a softer side. That's I mean, right. Yeah. We do. We're like we, 80s hair metal ballads, right? Yeah. We're, this is our hey. rockers with soft yeah. sides today. That's right. 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 So. We got so, soft, squishy middles. That leaves me. I get two in a you row. You get two in a row. And I will tell you, my top three Damn. have not been chosen yet. Wow. From my own per- so I got I got lots to choose from. Yes, you okay. do. I'm going to go with the, the my first one's going to be National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh, good one. I, I thought- went with that just because it's the one I watch at least once every year. Um probably have ever yes. since it oh, came yeah. out. And it's, I wanted that one. I know. Wow. I was You're shocked you didn't take that number one. <laughs> it would have it was gonna be my number two. I here's what I can tell you. Just from my draft board, yeah. you had no risk of losing Field of Dreams on that second go yeah. around. I all. wanted it so I, I had Field of Dreams at about number eight on Yeah, that. I was so it was yeah, still round. I wanted it. It was there. But yeah, I got I watch it all the time. Um let's see here. Going with Rob's Rotten Tomatoes, it was seventy critics, eighty six audience. Yeah. Uh, made about seventy million uh, just in the USA. Um, like I said, so many classic lines. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everything. So well, we love that movie, all three of us. Yeah. yeah. As does like ninety five percent of America. Yeah. Uh, just for our listeners at home, and you all know, but that's on our schedule. Yeah. For our Christmas episodes this yeah. year, so a good ten months from now, if you just hold on for one more day, we'll we dig will. Uh, uh, or it's about what. You know, a lot of more days, but you hold on for those days. Yeah, uh, you'll get to hear this at the end of the year. We're going to do a a deep dive. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that means he gets a second one in a row. I do. You got anything else about National Lampoon's Rob? No. Uh, the uh-huh. thing I did like there we go because uh, on our Perfect. vacation, yeah. No. No, I got nothing. <laughs> on our hold on. Uh, no, when we did uh, on our first vacation movie. That's right. Yes. Uh, it was based on a short story called uh, um, Vacation Fifty Eight. Uh, or no. Yeah, that one was Vacation 58, but yes. but the National Lampoon's Christmas story is based on a short story called Christmas 59. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Year to year. Anyway, 
Beautiful. Right, that's that's all I got. All right. All right. That means you get a second one in a row. Ooh, second one. I'm going to go with another favorite that whenever it's on, I got to watch it. I'm going Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Ooh. which was the number one movie in the world, Ooh. but number two in the U.S. Yes, number two. So it made 472 worldwide that, that year. That makes you number two. Uh, well, no, no. <laughs> I'm number three and four right now. Um, so let's see here. My favorite Indiana Jones movie yeah. out of all of them. Ah. It is. Um, yeah. Yeah. The great, I like I, I like agree uh, with you. Temple of the Doom. You like the temple? I do. I like the, the eating the monkey brains yeah. and, uh, and the snake I surprise. Like the, the little dude from Goonies. Short round. Oh, oh, yeah. Short, short round. round. That's yeah. it. Right if there. it wasn't for short round, um, that movie would not be great at all. Yeah. <laughs> and I like that because I just of, like the hold on, lady. We're going for a ride when yes. they're cutting the bridge. And I yeah, also but, like that because of Temple of Doom, they invented the PG thirteen rating uh, because <laughs> uh, yeah. it was a little it was crazy. dark. Man. Yeah, it's crazy. But there was uh, for some reason we, me and my wife, use a lot of the lines. In this movie, yeah. like, I don't know how this comes up, but Jehovah starts with an I. Yeah. We say that randomly <laughs> in our household. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else do I got? The penitent man kneels before God, and then Sean Connery's just going penitent. Penitent. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and I'll randomly just say uh, that one. Yeah. Well, I I was never a huge Indiana fan. My really? dad liked those movies yeah. a lot, so I watched them with him, and I always thought they were good, but like, I don't. I don't revisit them. Like, I don't rewatch them very often. So, and I'll tell you, The Last Crusade, probably the best part of that movie, I thought, was the hot blonde lady who then turns into a Nazi. <laughs> don't was, you see Indiana? Yeah, it's yours fantastic. and I. She was fantastic. She was fantastic. <laughs> a great pair of German boobs, I German think. boobs that. <laughs> Nazi boobs. Nazi boobs. Well, uh, <laughs> Temple of Doom was the first movie I remember. My parents watching on, we got a, VH, a VHS player. Oh, wow. Uh, and that was the first. That wasn't until 1989 you get a VHS player? Yeah. Wow. Well, no, it because Temple of, Doom, Temple of Doom was before. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Temple of Doom. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Not this so, one. No, yeah. no, not this one. No, Temple of Doom was the first VHS I remember we oh, we rented nice. and and watched. Mm -hmm. That's that's yeah. a seminal. Because I remember, I remember the monkey brain. That's a great. Yeah. I love the monkey brain. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if that movie holds up if I go watch it now, but I like the monkey brains part. <laughs> just like I, I just know brains. Kate, Ka uh, is it Kate Capshaw? Yeah, because yeah. it's yeah, yeah. Spielberg's wife now. Yeah. She screams a lot in that movie. Yes, so. she does. <laughs> All right. Yes, she's Lots a screamer. Screaming. She's a screamer. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Rob, that takes you Ooh. to your second pick okay. in round number two. All right, I'm going to go with Batman. Oh, there it was. Who saw that coming? Huh? Uh, everybody. Biggest movie know. of the year. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't go in the first round. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so uh, critics seventy six, audience eighty four on Rotten Tomatoes. A little yep. surprising. Uh, directed gotcha. by Tim Burton, uh, Tim first Burton. installment of the Batman uh, film series. You got Nicholson, you got Keaton, Basinger, uh, the big, 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 big cast. It was a big movie. Yeah. Um, the my thing that I put in my notes was to me this is the superhero movie for me. Good. This is when nice. you know even with all the Marvel mm -hmm. and the, you know that whole. To me, this it's is the not, movie. Uh, it's this not is... Green Lantern. I thought he said it was yeah. Green Lantern. <laughs> <He's>... Okay, <laughs> yeah. secret. Yeah. Shh, don't tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, this is I. Yeah, for me, this is an iconic. This movie. This is the first movie. The, the I way it was filmed and the style yeah. and the, mm -hmm. you know the, dark. Yeah, this is the this is the first movie I remember like anticipating seeing because yeah. before then I went to movies and saw movies that yeah. I liked, but this is one like you were waiting for it to come out, and it's because this is the first one they really did the monster like marketing push yeah. ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You had Happy Meals. Yeah. Prince was already doing videos. It yeah. was like on Good Times Square yes. with the Batman. Like well, everything people had, was bat crazy before the movie ever yeah. even came out. People had picture so. posters of the car on their yeah. you know yeah. in their rooms like that that I And mean, I think it's the first movie I ever went to the theater to watch multiple times. Ooh. Like yeah. I'd seen movies in theaters, but I don't think this is the first one I think I went two or three times and paid yeah. to watch again because I, I remember my dad saying why are you going to see it again? Yeah. I was like, I guess I got to watch it again. Yeah. So. I, will, I will surprise you. I actually went to this one in the theater. Wow. wow. Yeah, we wow. Saved, you were we saved the up the nickels ah. and I went. Wow. But yeah, it was, I, I for some reason, I love the old Batman TV show with Adam West. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah. And so I would watch that and what was that, made in the 60s or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I watched it, but I would watch it and then it was like, oh, I want to go watch Batman. Yeah, and I think Batman, I've always just liked him as a, Comic character because oh, yeah. he's he's kind of the anti hero. Mm -hmm. but he's just he's the non superpower yeah, hero, and I love it. Uh, it. At the time of its release, it was the fifth highest grossing film in history. Ooh. At the time, I was yeah, nice. so I thought that was kind of cool. That is good. So, Rob, I do have a question for you. Yes. Uh -oh. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale, pale moonlight? moonlight? Um, that's what I ask all. Of my, yeah. 
You're you know. prey. You I want just prey like the around. sound of it. Yeah. <laughs> I just like the sound of it. That's it what sounds, I ask of all. My it really. sounds good. Come on, Vicky Vale. <laughs> yeah. Vicky Vale. Uh, oh, plug for uh, Batman. We will also be doing that on a deep dive this October. Ooh, wow. So tune now in, people folks. have something to look forward to. They they always have something to look forward to. Rob, <laughs> the three of us is always something to look well, forward to. Well, mostly the two so. of you, me every mm-hmm. once in a while. No, you you're the perfect amount for them. That's right. right. So there you go. Any more, yeah. and you'd be sick. <laughs> overloaded. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might need some Pepto. <laughs> <laughs> Not that guy again. <laughs> um. All right. Well, I get to go uh, twice now. Oh, so oh, I'm going it. big. Time here. My second pick, number six overall in the second round. I am going with Major League. Uh-huh. That is a fantastic movie. Yep. I was a huge baseball player, baseball fan. Love this movie. Everything about it. Wild thing. Willie Mays Hayes. All of it. My favorite quote in that movie is You may run like Hayes, but you, you hit, hit like, like shit. Yeah. I love that. That is <laughs> I love that movie, but it's hilarious from start to finish. And the tagline for that movie. Uh, to get you to the theaters. So it might have been on a poster or wherever they put it, but it says, when these three oddballs try to play hardball, the result is totally screwball. All right, oh. So, there you go. Ooh, so nice. somebody in Hollywood got paid a lot of money to throw that little tagline together, <laughs> and someone's like, ooh, that sounds intriguing. I'm going to go see that now. That's so. right. I just love the uh, coach. This is a gruff oh, yeah. old coach. I love yeah, that I don't coach. need any of that Olay yeah. bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> or like the one where he's like, I'm too old to go diving into lockers or yeah. something like that. So he just stands naked. Do in you want to grab a towel? I don't. Yeah. We yeah. can't. Oh, we don't. We can't. For, that. That. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, uh, I or ran. He, hold on real quick. Or when he catches the ball in his hat. Willie Mays Hayes. Yeah. And he goes, great catch, Hayes. Don't, Don't ever, ever do, do, it, do again. it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, for some reason, I ran with a, a group of folks, and that one of the people in our group used to all the time say, up your butt, Joe Boo. Yeah. When yeah. you say oh. ran with a group, what, do you have a gang or yeah, something? Gang. What are you guys doing? It was, <laughs> it was, a, t- it was, a, it was a, a small lady, gang of- The lady killers. Yes. <laughs> And we did uh, dance. It was, the, it was dance. the original version of the Robsters. Yes, it we, was the original. Yeah, we, was, we did dance the, fighting in small. the alleys. Nice. Yes, we're like dun, 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 dun. It was a very dun, small dun. thing of. It was an early version of the Robsters yes. before he knew how to build it. That's, That's right. right. If you build it, they will we come. Bats. If you build it, they will join. That's right. With bats and grenades. <laughs> That's why he picked Field of Dreams number one. That's right. He goes because for the Robsters, if I build it, they will join. That's right. So that's right. So well, he built the voice. studio and we joined. Hopefully, yeah. you don't move them down to Grenada and drink a bunch of Kool Aid at some point. So <laughs> stay away from that. <laughs> no, so, I got no Robsters. All right, that mm-hmm. means I have a second pick, top of the third round. I'm going with the one and only Uncle Buck. Okay. All right. Okay. John Candy favorite right here. Everyone's first introduction to Macaulay Culkin. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably one of my favorite parts of the movies when he asks him the questions. <laughs> What's your record like, yeah. for most questions? Yeah. <laughs> Twenty seven. He, he goes, I don't. He goes, Where's your office? I don't have one. Why not? I don't need one. <laughs> yes, I, you have much more hair in your nose than my dad. Thanks for noticing. Thanks for noticing. Yeah. I'm do a you, kid. That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a, Do you have kids? Uh, kids. That's an even longer that's story. An even longer story. <laughs> <laughs> Are you married? It's a long story. <laughs> so, up uh, tagline for Uncle Buck, Rob. He's crude. He's crass. He's family. All right. So that is, and that, and then my other favorite part of that is when he's knocking on the door at three in the morning, but it's the house across the street. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, he's like, you called me out here. He won't even answer the door. Yeah. Hey, Buck, get over here. So, yeah. but I will say, I hate, hate, and they did a good job, I guess. I hate the mom in that movie. She is <laughs> oh, yeah. horrendous. She doesn't like Buck She makes at all. Sally Field and Mrs. Doubtfire look great. <laughs> She's horrible. Yeah, we did not like so, her. We yeah. did not. I, I uh, like the uh, the quarter. Here's a quarter. Go have a go downtown and have a rat. Right now that thing off your face. that thing off your face. Not off your face. One of my favorite, it's really subtle, but when he, uh, uh, Buck drops the kids off at school. Oh, yeah. This is the, high, the, the daughter. Uh-huh. And uh, blow it. Uh, Blows the backfire, and, mm-hmm. you know, and she says something like she looks at him. And she goes, "Has um, have you ever been? A, has you have you ever had somebody embarrass you like this before?" And there's this really awkward pause, and he kind of looks around. And he goes, "No, no." <laughs> and the two kids in the back laugh. They kind of giggle, and I just thought. It was just the the long pause, and he's just thinking it's about good. It. no. I like no, the where no. he that hat. The, my yeah. favorite. My, I like yeah. the part where he gets the hat, and he goes, "You think it's a hat? This hat angers people. It causes a lot of problems." <laughs> well, I mean, he's quizzing her on what the guy's name is. His name's Bug, Bug. and he goes, yeah. "Wow, what's his last name? Spray." <laughs> and he thinks, and he laughs at himself. He thinks he's so funny. That's right. He like, um, sh- All right. Well, that's my uh, two picks there. Major League Uncle Buck. That takes us to Rob's. Third pick oh, in the third round. My number. What could it be? Oh. <laughs> I got choices. You guys you took some choices. of them. Um, 
gosh, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Back to the Future 2. Ooh. Ooh yeah. McFly. Yeah. McFly. <laughs> McFly. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a sequel to the 1985 Back to the Future. It's all the same people are back. You got Elizabeth Shue. Not the same. Not, not no. everyone. Not everyone. The same. Yeah. Not everyone. <laughs> she replaced. And then you get the. And actually, uh, George Crispin, McFly doesn't come back no, either. No, Crispin Glover. Yeah, uh, yeah he get, uh, Glover. He gets uh, he gets replaced. Yeah. Um, Gosh, what to say about it. I? I just the whole Back to the Future trilogy yes. to me is great, r- really good. And um, actually, some articles I read said that the the screenwriting has been used. Like there are some people that think the screenwriting for it is perfect. Like it's the it's the template for um, screenwriting, and people mm-hmm. and like screenwriting schools use it and go, "This yeah. is how you write." A movie, and this is how you write a, a trilogy. This is how you so, write this words is, good. Yeah. I just like so. that Back to the Future 2 was in 2015, and it looked all flying oh, yeah. cars and everything. I'm like, <laughs> we've been past yeah. that, and then no. our, my car never flew. I don't know what happened. Now so. we call hoverboards boards with wheels. It yeah, doesn't make sense. No oh, yeah. <laughs> so. But you can uh-huh. get those shoes, yep. the oh, Nikes, yeah. that you can buy them. They're mm-hmm. lots and lots of money, but you can't get them. I'm surprised uh, you so. don't have them yet, uh, Mr. Sneaker They are Man. lots and lots of money. Yeah. They're beyond my reach, yeah. I will tell you that. <laughs> I thought this was interesting that Zemeckis, the director, said on the film's behind-the-scenes feature that the hoverboards used in it were real. Ooh. And so people actually thought they were real. Yes. And then that year, uh, a number of people thought he was telling the truth. And so they went to toy stores and said, we want the hoverboard. Well, and they, they were like Mattel <laughs> on them. So they were like, thought yeah, it was a they're toy. not real. But yeah, people thought they were real. So, I'll just I'll just controversial say this. Back to the Future 1 is a almost perfect movie. Great. Yes. The original. Two and three are okay. Yeah. Like they're and, not fantastic. I think they're okay. Yeah. And it so. and in my notes it says it was deemed inferior to its predecessor, it which is. is really hard to do. Well, I'm gonna there tell you. There are very few after, trilogies where yeah. the, the second or third are as good or better than the first. Yeah, the only so. one that pulled off a second one better is or like Godfather, because yes. Godfather mm-hmm. 2, mm-hmm. everything thought was better. And Empire Strikes Back yeah. probably yeah. being better than the first one. But other than that, it's almost impossible. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. how could you back up back to the future? Like it was it's so good. Making a second one, I'd almost like because it's funny when they did the ending of Back to the Future, they weren't going to do a sequel, and then the studio's like, "No, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no." We're having that, so that's why they put that extra part in where we're going. We don't need roads, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so no, no, I just those are always fun. Those are movies that when yeah. they're on, we you watch them and you. And know again, them. no butterfly effect problems nope. in that movie. No, no, uh, there's, a, there's a couple. Elizabeth, she runs into herself in the future. There's no. There's well, that's no in the future, but it doesn't do anything <laughs> no. in the past. <laughs> you don't think I she remembers that, that when they go back in the past? I'm right. sad that nobody ever did the double tie. Uh, that's true. The double tie would have been nice. Oh, the double tie. <laughs> and isn't isn't it isn't the part when he goes back to 1980s? Isn't that just It's a Wonderful Life? Because Potterville is basically Biffville yeah, now. That's right? true. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it feels like the screenwriters got a little lazy there. The yeah. script writers, they're like, nope. uh, how do we do this? I'll just do it this way, Mary. <laughs> Mary? <laughs> want me to lasso the moon for you. <laughs> Crap. What's that song? The Buffalo? What's that song? Buffalo, Buffalo girls, girls, won't, won't you come out tonight? tonight? Won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out oh, tonight? Who Buffalo would have guys, won't okay. you come out tonight? Too much of that. <laughs> Okay, had to give him a solo. Who would have thought that would have made it in today? But I love that movie. I love so. that movie. All right, it's one Kurt, of my favorites. That means you've got uh, two picks here. Bottom I of the do. third, top of the fourth. All right. I think I'm going to take one that Rob, or not Rob, but David might want. Uh, and I think he probably knows which one it is. I hope not. It is The Roadhouse. Oh, yes. Oh, you. The Roadhouse. Good block. You, Good you, block. You got to have The Roadhouse. got to have The Roadhouse. It's, that is a movie every Man who grew up during that time, and maybe some women. Has but if that shows up on AMC, TBS, I don't care where it is, whatever part of the movie it's in, you stop, you watch the That's rest right. of it. That's it. And I think it's so. um, well known that all wives hate it. Because I know our wives hate it. Yeah, my wife. But we will fan. constantly Why watch do they, it. What, what it. do they hate about it? I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing to hate. It's huh. probably the throat ripping Perfect. out, but I think that's great. Yeah. To be fair, Rob, not a big, uh, he doesn't have a big experience with Rob. No, I, I, I'm going to say that I, I'm not going to say that I don't like it. Yeah. Because I've watched it maybe what's once. Favorite, what's your favorite part about it? You know See, I don't know. Swayze's ass. I don't know. No. Oh, the Jeff Healy, Healy band. Healy band. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dalton. <laughs> that's right. Well, as I was his preparing for this, Dalton. I did, Why I was looking job? at quotes. <laughs> I didn't pick this movie. I left it off. But oh, that's also okay. Cause be I, I figured right one of you two yeah, were going to pick it. No problem. I picked yeah. it up. Get out of here. Uh, but when I was looking at quotes, uh, there's a, a dialogue between um, Jeff Healy 
Yes. The house band. Yeah. And a guy and the guy says, Oh, you're the you're the yeah. You're the house band guy? And he goes, oh, I didn't know you were blind. He goes, yeah, I thought you would have been taller. Yeah. It was great. It's it was, his joke. Yeah, it was really good. And he always does this yeah. into his hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's, laughs> so. Because everybody thinks Dalton should be taller. And Dalton bigger. should be yeah. taller. So, well, I have, uh, what was that? I had the tagline for that. I do want to read it. Yes. Since you stole it. it. Here it is. This is great. I can hear like a guy doing a, a voiceover in this. Dalton lives like a loner, fights like a professional, and loves like there's no tomorrow. Ooh, Ooh that's good, Rob. Huh? That yeah. gets you into the movie theater. I did like his sure. lady. Yeah. I didn't like uh, Jackie, you know, although he did bring a JC Penny to the town. That's because of him. That's right. JC Penny's <laughs> coming here because of me. <laughs> my, my, my favorite thug was the uh, the chubby guy oh, yeah. at the end. So and useless. they're like, did you see anything tiny? And he's like, a polar bear fell polar on bear me. Fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Everything's great about that movie. He is a montage with him with no shirt on. Yes. Uh, you got him ripping out throats. Uh, there's helicopters, there's, you know, Bigfoot c- trucks. I mean, yep. there's henchmen. Sam Elliott shows up. Uh, oh, it's hell. perfect. Kelly Lynch <laughs> is there for, you know, whatever reason. So it's fantastic. I love it. Yes. It's a, it's, it's a great, great movie. So that's Rob, why I picked anything it. else. Eerily quiet over there, folks. N- he no, was, I'm, remember I'm, we he told is. you when it was time to be nice. Yeah. It's time to be, <laughs> it's not be time nice. Not Let's go. Be nice. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> because that came from this movie. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't have a dog in the fight. I don't, I don't know. An, I, I, I don't. Well, we will do roadhouse yeah. on this and you're going to have to get a dog in this I'm fight. Okay. So and I'll probably like it. I mean, I, there's nothing not I, to like. It's yeah. great. All right. I get another one now. You do back to back. All right. Ooh, I'm, I'm tossing between two. No tossing. Ooh, I like to toss it. Ooh. Um, don't the, take what I want. I'm going to go with The Burbs. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. I just watched Ooh. it last night. Goodness. The for the first time in years. It is so weird. It is it weird. It is weird, but I like it because it's uh. weird. It's got good Tom Hanks where yeah. he just freaks out and is like throws the <laughs> the gurney yeah. into the ambulance and goes, just take me to the hospital. Just take me to the hospital. <laughs> well, I like, and then he's laying in there. He's laying in the uh, in the ambulance on mm-hmm. his stomach and she goes, you okay? He goes, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine here. <laughs> That's well, a, I mean, it's got Corey Feldman. Yeah, it's Come got on. everything. You got to have the at least one Corey I in an guess. '80s movie. Yeah. So I I read that the director. I mean, it's worth reading his uh, his catalog, his portfolio. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Gremlins, Gremlins nice. Two, Yep, uh, Piranha, The Ooh. Howling, Ooh. Explorers, Inner Space, Good one. Uh, Matinee, Small Soldiers, and Looney Tunes back in action. Nice. nice. Ooh, Looney yeah. Tunes back in action. I like it. Yeah, see. That's a solid that'll be, one. That'll be on a next list, I make. That's right. 100%. <laughs> My favorite character, in though, is uh, it was Bruce Dern. He's crazy yeah. in that. I love it. <laughs> but when they get into the house and they they finally meet the family for the first yeah. time and mm-hmm. the, the, the elder guy, yeah. the oldest, the, the patriarch. Yeah. He freaks out about something, and Bruce Turner goes, uh, uh, what does he say? He goes, uh, you're on, you're a nine on the tension scale there, buddy, or something like that. And he pats him <laughs> yeah. on the back. And, I, wow. and then when he's hiding the, he's got the toupee, and he oh, and he yeah. goes, he goes, uh, you've had that in your trousers all, all day? day? <laughs> trousers. I love it. Ooh, all right, Rob, that means it is oh. your second pick of the fourth round. Oh, okay. I want to see what's left. Ooh, uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot left. Okay, there's Anything a lot left. Yeah, and I think the ones that I'm going to pick are... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, sorry. No, uh, we don't want to rush him. You need to make no. a couple calls. He's trying to make a <laughs> trade at the deadline here. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, I'll give you my third rounder for a fifth we're, rounder. We're on. Uh, we're on the clock. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm doing it. Uh-oh. Uh We're gonna go with Glory. Oh, good one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Glory. Nice. Um, so there's a historical war drama. Uh, <laughs> critics gave it 95, audience 93. So Perfect. everybody, everybody loves it. Everybody's everybody the same. Um, Denzel won an Academy Award. Yes. So uh, the film was nominated for five Academy Awards and won three. So it was uh, Best Supporting Actor for Denzel Washington. He was he also won a uh, won a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. Uh, Best Art Direction nominated. Best Cinematography won. Best Film Editing, nominated, and Best Sound, won. won. And then it, in the 33rd Grammys, James Horner won a Grammy for the Best Instrumental Composition written for a motion picture for nice. uh, or for a motion picture or television. Um, it's in a bunch of, uh, it won awards from other people. Oh, yeah. uh, Leonard Malton gave it four stars and called it, quote, grand, moving, breathtaking, filmed, and faultlessly performed one of the finest historical dramas ever made. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love everything about that film except... Matthew Broderick's Colonel Sanders facial hair. I do oh, not yeah, yeah, yeah. approve of that. Well, it's, and actually, he just tried. I oh. read that uh, it 
the historical accuracy of that movie is not Dead good. On. Yeah, oh, okay. no, it's, no, not, it's good. not good. No, okay. the only the only person that in that movie, the only character that actually existed was Matthew Broderick's character. I think, but did the regiment actually exist? It did, it but did, but a but lot of the way. not yeah. the things that they won, yeah. and and like I guess historically, his character in the movie. He's very sympathetic to the mm-hmm. to the plight of the people. Nice. In real life, he was not. His, think, his journals uh, are very clear that he. Yeah. That he. I think the best character in that movie is the Morgan Freeman character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like him the best. Well, the so. Denzel Denzel crying is nope. single tear uh, uh, iconic. Sing- you know, single tear, Rob. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a different single tear than we discussed single, earlier, single but tier. still a single tear. It's single more tier. on the cheek. No comment. It's on the thigh. All right. Oh wow! Oh, he come went, on. He went there. <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> it was the whisper song. All right. Um, so that means I have two picks in a row. This is uh top bottom of the fourth round, top of the fifth round. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go double dumb movies here. Oh. But double dumb movies that I like. So that's why I'm gonna take them. The first one I'm gonna take is Weekend at Bernie's. Oh, nice. okay. right. love, love Weekend it. at Bernie's. A good one. Uh tagline of this movie, Bernie Lomax could be the perfect host, except for one small thing. He's dead. dead. He's All dead. right. So uh, but Rigor Mortis has great. set in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> great uh great premise to this movie. Two guys go out to the boss's house. They're supposed to get killed, but they kill Bernie. And then guess what? We'll prop him up all weekend. I did read this has a little more thought to it oh. than uh what people think. You know, it's just a stupid slapstick uh-huh. comedy. But what it was supposed to do was talk about the excesses of the 80s that okay. people were so enwrapped with themselves and their own things that they wouldn't even notice a dead body if it was laying around. So, okay. You know, because they're taking cocaine from him and all that. But the, yeah. scene, the scene where she has sex with him, yeah. uh, it, I, you know, I like to see these. It's not medically. <laughs> you would like to see that? That's gross. No, I like to see these. Uh, <laughs> no, I like no. to make sure I see these things work right. And it's not medically factual. I know whoever screen wrote that didn't do a lot of research. Um, you need blood. For uh, an erection to occur, and once your body dies, the blood kind of stops moving <laughs> it around. Yes, so uh, it probably wouldn't happen, um, but she made it happen, so that's good. Okay, she, she enjoyed herself. She did. She said it was like the best ever. Mm-hmm. So wow. that feels bad, you know. That that's, feels bad. <laughs> feel bad for her if that's the best. <laughs> so we can burn these, Rob. Okay. Do, do you remember that movie? I do. I think you and I rented I that. I, I was kind of some of these. I think either we rented them. Yeah. Or we went to, I don't know. And we yeah, start watching it. Like, I'm like, this is a perfect movie. Like, is that the, uh, this is uh, great. Perfect. Where he gets, he goes skiing. Um, Does he get pulled behind a boat? Or is well, that, he gets pulled behind a boat. Uh, yeah. He hits all the buoys. You know? By the mm-hmm. way, I saw a thing, the stunt man that was him. He broke three ribs while they were oh, dragging awesome. him behind the boat. So. <laughs> well, and and uh, when he would start to come alive yeah. and his, his, his ass up in the air. Oh, I, you know, and it, I just love that you throw glasses on a dead body. <laughs> And, and, nobody, just, and, he, and nobody noticed. noticed. Perfect. He just went into Weekend at Bernie's too. He did. He's, Was he's it Weekend at Bernie's too? Is That's when right. they do the uh, yeah the little um, magic spell or whatever, That's and what he can start walking. Yes. He does That's what it thing. was. How about the audacity to do this movie twice? <laughs> twice. All right, come on. Yeah. We got it the first yeah. time. No, no. The second one was good. One, so I, I always do the uh, Weekend I, at Bernie's walk from Weekend at Bernie's too. It has to be do a beat, a calypso beat. <laughs> Sunglasses have never been more important than a movie, maybe than this That's one right. right here. I so. did that in uh, for Major League Two uh, as well because I was doing my notes and I watched it and I remembered things from. I went, oh, that must have been from two. Oh yeah, yeah. But so, anyway, I got my right, movies so, mixed up. So uh, my first pick, which is at the top of I think round five, is that where we're? Yeah, mm-hmm. the top of round five. My second pick in a row here. I'm going with UHF, oh, Ooh, the yeah, Weird yes. Al Yankovic Rob driven. Is- Wonderful right movie. Now. I no, love not. this movie. Uh, tagline Somebody for online this. said, oh, Rob's going to pick you. Oh, yeah. No, so tagline for this. It's crazy. It's outrageous. It's the television station run by a lunatic. Wow. So all I can say is Stanley Spadowski's Funhouse, yeah. yep. Spatula City. Uh, I like when he teaches <laughs> poodles how to fly. <laughs> yeah. I love Spatula City. He's like, they make great gifts. Yeah. <laughs> you have beautiful spatulas. Right. <laughs> you talk about things that get said random in your house. I mean, I, I, my family doesn't say it, but. I've said it multiple times in my life where, oh, well, you get to drink from the fire. Like, <laughs> like it's a, it's a reward. That I, is a thing. Yeah, I, 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 had, yeah. I had never seen this movie until never. last week. David yes. came over and we're like, oh, how'd you feel about it? Yeah. I actually liked it a lot <laughs> yes. more than I thought I was going I to. It's funny. It was, I was, I was just expecting Weird Al, just crazy Weird Al the whole time. No, but no, it had, yeah. it had a classic eighties kind of movie cliche yeah. of, we got to raise the money to save the yeah. thing. And, 
I put it, it's kind of like Empire Records. Got to save, yeah. raise the money, save yeah. the thing. Save the man, save the That's empire. Right. That's right. Yeah. I and love that's you, funny. Chef. That's yeah. another <laughs> one Rob and I watched together. Oh, yeah. So, as the big weird owl. I feel like you guys didn't watch anything apart. We watched a lot of movies You were connected We were movie. We were movie boys. That's what they called us. They did. Oh my God, God, there goes the movie boys. It's the movie boys. <laughs> I can't believe they're going to play baseball today. They're the movie boys. Nobody you either. would think we solved mysteries and stuff. No, no, we just we just watched movies. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Where are you guys headed? Blockbuster. Hey, there goes the movie boys. <laughs> That's right. The movie boys. Have fun, boys. <laughs> Have fun storming the castle. castle. <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs> the movie boy. Oh, all right. Okay. That takes, uh, so Weekend at Bernie's UHS F off the board. All right. So <sighs> round five, back to Rob for his uh, next. Uh, uh, round five. Uh, I don't know. He's thinking hard. Yeah, I'm gonna, three more choices. I'm right. going to do, um, I'm going to go with Dead Poet Society. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at Mr. It's a heady, heady one. Movie. I it's know. a heady one. Because when he was 12, he was really into those heady I movies. I had that lower on my list just because yeah. I didn't want to think. Yeah. I, I, did, I owned I did. it. I actually owned yeah. it. I, I used to come over to Rob's bedroom, oh. uh, you know, and his, his mom and dad be like, go ahead and <laughs> oh, go in there. Right. And as soon as I walk in, he's standing on the bed. Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> I had to, <laughs> I, <laughs> I had to <laughs> turn off the John Lee Hooker and <laughs> <laughs> to hide the Tony Braxton. Yeah. <laughs> Nudie mag. <laughs> Nudie mag. <laughs> the Tony Braxton lookalike. Oh, Nudie mag. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Uh, <laughs> no. So it's a coming of age drama, as it's Ooh. called. Uh, it's obviously, it was uh, Robin Williams. He was kind of this um, uh, cool, unorthodox teacher. Uh, teacher <laughs> um, gets into some trouble. They fire him, and everybody you know, rallies around him. And the, the film's line, Carpe Diem, Seize the Day, Boys, Make Your Lives Extraordinary, was voted the 95th greatest movie quote uh, by the American Film Institute. Um, Ooh, you ran out of speed there. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was a lot. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the critics didn't like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, hmm. Siskel and Ebert disagreed with Williams' Oscar nomination. Uh, Ebert said that he would have swapped Williams with either Matt Dillon for Drugstore Cowboy okay. or John Cusack for Say Anything. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ebert chose the film's Best Picture nomination as the worst nomination of the year, believing it took a slot that could have uh, gone to Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. Ooh. People didn't like it. Good movie. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes Do critics, right 84. Audience, 92. So the audience loves it. But, nice. Yeah, uh, received an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. Um, well, the film was a cr- uh, critical and commercial success. Um, Academy Award nominations for Best Picture and Best Director and Best Actor for Williams. Yes. So there you go. Ooh. But you can see uh, my thought process is in 1989. <laughs> this is a great movie, Oscar worthy, all these things. I'm yeah. watching Weekend of Bernie's. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, everyone's like, oh, look at this. No, thanks. <laughs> I want the dead body. <laughs> well, as, as a nine year old, I wasn't thinking dead poet society. Dead poet society. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Let me go ponder yeah. that one. He's nine year old at the dinner table ripping a book. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Standing up. For the for the little man standing up for yeah. hey little man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that means uh, Kurt, you got two in a row. I got two, two in a two. row. This is going to be big right here. This is pick five there's, and six. There is lots of good stuff to. There still are. Have. I'm trying to decide where my at my list. Mm, I'm, I think got things back and forth. I definitely think uh, I think you should pick one. But let's. See I'm what going you to pick. We're going to go Ghostbusters 2. Ah, Ooh. there it goes. You may not like it, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I have no problem. No. Rob gave me an ooh too. like he did not like it. I, 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 I will say I think Yanish is the best part of that movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love him so <laughs> yeah. much in that. <laughs> I, I like when they're, they're in court. And oh, yeah. he goes, Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I don't think it's fair to call my clients frauds. <laughs> sure, the blackout was a big problem for everybody. <laughs> I was trapped in an elevator for two hours, two hours, and I had to make the whole time. <laughs> but I don't blame them, because one time I turned into a dog, and they helped me. That's Thank right. you. There you go. <laughs> that was his opening <laughs> statement. Uh, the Vigo. Yeah. Uh, Vigo, so, Vigi, yeah. Vigi. I never understood about Ghostbusters 2 is this. They, uh, you know, they go to do other jobs after Ghostbusters. And then when they assemble back together, you okay over there? I got the shivers. Got a little shiver <laughs> there. He got excited. Ooh. Ooh. He does like the button. I was telling him about too. Ghostbusters too, and he goes, "Ooh, he, he had the ghost inside <laughs> him." He got the ghost. Mm. Uh, but I never understand why when they reconvene together, their uniforms and their car and on their building they put a ghost with a two. two. Well, no yeah. one else knows it's a, why is it a two? They uh, know that way. They the know they're back. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. So, I do yeah. like when they uh, are walking with um, the Statue of Liberty. Oh yeah. yeah. 
And we Great. should go faster. We're not going to get there in time. No. I don't think they make Nikes in her <laughs> size, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the one-liners in uh, there. When I was researching for this, I uh, there was lots of negatives. Uh, yeah, I know. yeah. Like people just didn't like it. it well, Bill it Murray doesn't make, like it. Yeah, it didn't make as much. <laughs> Bill Murray basically kind of was the reason why he bailed out of it. Uh, but not all was lost. Not this all is, was lost. Uh, Peter McNichol, great. And Rick Moranis were praised. Rick Moranis mm-hmm. saved the day. Uh, That's right. It's soundtrack single on our own by Bobby Brown has been mentioned on the show before. Was a what success, a spending song. twenty weeks mm. on the music charts, and then it was the eighth. Despite all that, it was the eighth gross, uh, highest grossing film of the year. Nice. So despite all that, it's great negative stuff. It was still people liked it. The the tag tra- line, I liked it. The tagline on that was the superstars of the supernatural are back, and this time it's not a marshmallow roast. That's right. Oh, Ooh. They, they were roasting, were roasting slime. They were roasting wow. slime. It was slime time. Drippings with the goo. They were drippings <laughs> with the goo. Why am I drippings with the goo? <laughs> Where love- are you from? <laughs> the Upper West Side. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The Vigo. That's <laughs> right. So, all right. Uh, you get another pick. I so get another one. Sixth round. All right, here. I got Two picks left, Two picks so I got to be. These are important. Got to be cautious with these yes. picks. Mm. These are important. All right, I'm gonna go with. Uh oh, I'm gonna surprise you all. Yes, Steel Magnolias. Ah, uh, I saw that what? coming. Yeah, uh, he he's got a little uh, place. Weezer. in Weezer. I got a little Weezer. Weezer. Uh-huh. Weezer. Weezer. <laughs> Go ahead and tell us why the Steel Magnolia. Oh. All right. I watched a lot of movies with my mama. Oh, there and we go. It was a movie. My mommy was a big Dolly yeah. Parton fan, everything right. else, nine to five, everything. Yeah. And so it was one That's that cool. it was on a lot. Yeah. And That's cool. It was um oh, got track lighting. How's your yeah. son? Oh, Steve's fine. <laughs> <He's> fine. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Julia Roberts got the diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. yeah. Gets yeah. her. And she it gets died. her. Yeah, yeah when she passed her. out, that kid was no help. No. He just Come on. <laughs> Come on, kid. <laughs> I mean, call somebody, yeah. right? <laughs> call somebody. <laughs> so, yes, that's just why I'm Mom picking dies. that one. That's cool. That's that cool. Is, that is a, a mama's boy pick. I got you. Here, hit Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, punch her right in the face. So <laughs> that's a good. That's I like that pick. I don't like uh, Daryl Hannah's glasses in that no, movie. Those are great. It was 1989. There were better glasses to wear at that time in their life, but that's fine. Mm. So, and I didn't like when Julia cut all her hair off. I don't know who told her that haircut was working. It was just easier. Just easier. <laughs> I don't think she liked it though when it happened, but that's fine. So, all right. Yeah. Well, that's a good pick. Steel Magnolias, Rob. You feeling good about that one? I like that one. I like, like it. I like, Once I like, he heard my mama's boy. I like his I justification for it. I like it. I got gotcha. you. All right. That takes us to, that means a, a mom movie. We've had a dad movie. Yeah. All right. We're, we're checking all the boxes today. Oh, now we're going to do a family More movie. More feels. Oh, well, here we go. You're Parent, up. I'm doing Parenthood. Oh, that's Ooh, a great yeah. one. That's I, yeah. that's one of the mo- I watched it last night. Yeah. Oh, it's a good I, one. Uh, so I good. didn't watch the whole thing. I had to kind of watch some clips and stuff just to get my memory going again. And I was yes. like, oh, I forgot how much I loved it. Uh, yeah, so you got a family comedy. It's got a big cast, kind of an all star cast. Steve Martin, uh, Tom Hulse, who's the who plays uh, Mozart and Amadeus. You got Rick Moranis, uh, Keanu Reeves, uh, Jason Robards, Mary Steenburgen, uh, directed by Ron Howard. So it's a big deal. Um, nominated for two Academy Awards, um, one for Diane Weist for her best supporting actress, and then Weist. Rand Weist. Randy Newman for best song. I know how much you like a Newman. good Randy Newman <laughs> Randy song, Newman. yeah. Um, down the street. Who also had a song in Major League, he did, yeah. So he's <laughs> yeah. you love him, yeah. He's um, great, he was kicking butt in the 80s. That's right, critic, that. critics love it 92%, yeah. great, uh, audience 76%. Nice. Uh, the whole some of my favorite scenes in that are, um, uh, I'd forgotten how much I laughed. I can remember laughing as a kid at this when he's at the birthday party. And, and he's he, a cowboy. And he, and he, he, yeah, he's Cowboy Gill. <laughs> and he's like, he goes, uh, Cowboy Gill doesn't show up. Cowboy Gill, uh, uh, as in guilty. Yeah. I didn't like the look on his face, so I killed him. I blew a hole in him this big. Oh, his guts were sitting And he's like, okay, it was all this big. And then, <laughs> yeah. then he goes, his guts were spilled all over the floor, slipping on his guts. After I blow a hole in someone, I slip around on his guts. I like to make balloon animals. And then he, he and he goes, <laughs> your <laughs> lower intestines. Yeah. But then nice. when he's riding off on the, the horse, oh, yes. yeah. and he goes, yippee-ki-yay. <laughs> he, he, he goes over the bush and 
Then, then he's he trying to limp. Steve, he's yeah. limping yeah. away. It's, My favorite yeah. part of that movie, I like Keanu Reeves. I think he's great in that movie. He's supposed to be a moron, but then yeah. actually he's like yeah. really good. Yeah. Like he tells that story about, you know, how his dad and yeah. then like when, why, the way way Joaquin yeah. Phoenix is acting, yeah. you're kind of like, wow, that was, and then yeah. the mom. He goes, the that's mom, what little dudes yeah. do. Little dudes yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> he explained it in a way, but the mom, you could see a light bulb went on and she was like, oh, that oh, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So My, although his, his, the girl that plays the daughter, that's Keanu's wife, she's just, yeah. I don't like her in many movies. <laughs> uh, she's just crazy all the time. So. Um, but did you notice that he's not Joaquin Phoenix? He's Leaf. He is. Yeah. He's yeah. Leaf. Um, but the, the other thing that I liked in that was the the comparison of the two families. And I always oh, kind of yeah. felt growing up that that was my family because we had some family back east that um, was we kind of felt was more put together, right? And so – we were the we were the family with the bucket on the head, and we were the kid running, you know. <laughs> yes, and then so they're we. the ones learning a different well, language and playing instruments. And and the one line where uh, the kids running into the wall with the bucket on his oh, head, yeah. and, and she kind of just looks around, and and Rick Moranis goes, "How proud you must I'm be!" How proud you must <laughs> be. Yeah, you know this. Is he likes an, to hit. His I was like, "This was us things. out in Oregon. We yeah. were the bucket kids running well, this around is an eating mud." Uh, and, I thought this movie was interesting because Rick Moranis is the straight man in this movie. Mm-hmm. Like mm. he kind of sings. He kind of is a yeah. jerk a little bit. Like for yeah. a while, you don't like him. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, this lady needs to get out of there ASAP. Right. She wants another <laughs> so, kid, and he he, he yep. just wants to poking holes yeah. in the diaphragm. Yeah. Go poking right. holes in the diaphragm. So. What what do you think of the uh, special education system there, Rob? Yeah. How they have to put them in a whole different oh, school. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's out. right. I made a little that's note. Right. Mm, not so, not yeah. so good back then. When in the he education lost system. his retainer and yeah. the that kid was freaks an- out. That kid was yeah. anxious. He, he had some he anxiety issues. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that means I've got. Uh, you got two. Are these Your my last two, two picks? Yep. Six and these seven. Are your last two. Man, this yeah, that's is it's disappointing. Um, so, this is going to be tough. I'm going to go uh, for my first one. Man, there's a lot left. Um, I was looking at Look Who's Talking. I like Talking Babies mm. a lot. I love the Talking uh, Babies. I was looking at- John Travolta's comeback. Was, yeah, I was looking at Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I like a little yeah. bit more, more with Big More hands. Moranis. Yeah. Uh, or can always use more Moranis. That's right. Uh, but I'm going to go action style Ooh. here, and I'm going to go with Lethal Weapon 2. Oh, I, I kind of right. wondered. So I, I like this. I uh, actually like the sequel better than I liked the original. Um, he loses a little more of his uh, Australian accent in this one, so it's a little more yeah. a little more easy <laughs> to understand. Working with his coach more. Um, I like the interactions with the uh, South African embassy. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, um, the guy also was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. You know, he was the bad guy from the future. Yep. And then, uh-huh. you know, anyway, uh, and uh, Joe Pesci's in this one. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I was like the so. memes that are flying around where it says. Uh, 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 Glover's character is always saying he's too old for the shit. He's too old for the mm-hmm. shit, and he's he's younger he's than already, we are now. Yeah, yeah. But, I'm like, well, oh man. So, oh yeah, but yeah. I mean, and so if you have a lethal weapon too, he must really be too old for this shit yep, at this right. point. I think is it the second one or the first one? I haven't watched them both in a while. So mm-hmm. second one or the first one where he gets stuck on his toilet. Uh, I think that was the first. One. Was it the oh, first one? And his legs bomb. go <laughs> numb. <laughs> yeah, and so he couldn't. All right, move on the count of three, we're going in the tub. Doesn't. But that might have been the first one. So there is the hot South African like secretary in the second one, like. He gets to woo. Uh, mm-hmm. What's his face? Mel Gibson here. So, uh, yeah. um, uh, Riggs, yeah, right? right? He lives on a trailer at the beach. They like take to it with machine guns or whatever, and he yeah. escapes out the bottom. He must have a hatch on that trailer, <laughs> by the way. So, and he a did. lot of these movies, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, a lot of these movies had tried to go to TV. Oh yeah, Parenthood tried mm-hmm. to go to TV. Lethal, Lethal Weapon, Weapon tried yeah. to go to TV. Yeah. Um, there was another one on my list that tried to go to TV. Uh, and did not do well. Did not do well. Yeah, they it never did. They do a out. lean on me one too. All right. They might have. So that know. means this is my last pick. Last one. Last Make it a good one. Top of the seventh round. I don't know if it's a good one, but it's one I'm taking. This is one of only two movies I even watched because it was on TV last night. So I watched it and I remember that I just love it. It's so much fun. Uh, it's a drama. Okay. Um, and I'm going to choose this expeditiously. It is Lean On Me. Oh, okay. It's Principal Clark. Joe, you oh, know, yeah. Principal Joe, right? They call me Batman. They call me Batman. I haven't seen that forever. They call me Crazy Joe. Now That's they can right. call me Batman. <laughs> so, Joe. yeah, I just watched this last night. Uh, if you forget, Rob, it's about a principal. Yeah. He kind of redoes a whole school. It locks so the doors, doors, right? Locks the yeah. doors. He locks the, not legal. locks the doors, keep the gangs out so, so they can... So they can study for the state test. That's got right. Morgan Freeman yeah, as a uh, you know, principal. And uh, my favorite part about I watched this last night. And my favorite line in the whole movie, you got that one kid. His name was Sam's. <laughs> he was kind of a <laughs> dumbass. But, you know, he, Clark's taking uh-huh. care of him. And then they're at the steps afterwards after he's been arrested. 
And the lady goes, don't worry, kids, we're going to get you a good principal. And Rob, I thought you might like this. We don't want, we don't want a good principal. We, we want, want Mr. Mr. Clark. <laughs> that's awesome. I think that's yeah. fantastic. We don't want a good principal. <laughs> we want Mr. Clark. That's, that's what I hope my students say. We don't want a good teacher. We want Mr. I was just thinking that. <laughs> and be, by the way, I will I say yeah. there's a phrase in that movie that when I watched this when I was a kid, I didn't catch the first time. But uh, early in the movie, uh, you know, Morgan Freeman says, I'm the HNIC. And I was like. I don't yep. know. I didn't yep. know what that was then either, but well, I know what it is they, now. They, they so. explain it in the movie. Uh, they explain it, but I'm going to tell you I didn't catch it didn't when I was a kid. Uh, uh, I got H it now. So. I see. And then I know what, what I really like. Now. What I really like later is when he has the argument with uh, Robert Guillaume uh, for our '80s fans. He played Benson, mm -hmm. uh -huh. right? Uh, when he because he's the superintendent, and you know Clark, uh -huh. and they've known each other for 30 years. But he yells at him, and he says, "Contrary to popular belief, I'm the HNIC." Uh -huh. And he yells at him, and he just stands there. But the funny part is, Robert Guillaume goes to leave after he yells at him for like five minutes. He goes, "Let's go get something to eat." <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Morgan Freeman's like, "All right, let's uh -huh. just go get." But yeah, love that movie. <laughs> Good working relationship. Uh, lots to do. Uh, lots to see in that movie. They clean up a lot of things. You got teenage pregnancies. You got drugs. You got fighting. You got uh -huh. all this stuff. And then there was another part where, uh, as, as an Air Force veteran, one of the guys he expelled from school is back trying to stab him, uh, the, and he beats him up. But as he's trying to stab him, he goes, I don't need this school. I'm going into the Air Force. <laughs> I was like, this Air is Force hoodlums. Like, this is confusing. Wow. <laughs> this is confusing. That's funny. I don't know that's if the recruiter is going to sign that's off that's on what, this. That's how David got signed up yeah, right there. Right. He's like, I saw it in a movie. <laughs> I could try to stab a teacher and then go. But I feel like, Rob, you should watch this movie's. This is you. This is how yeah. you inspire yourself to be yeah, at your school every day. I'm trying to put together my uh, my – the people that inspired me to yep. in, in administration. So it's a building. Okay, good. It's a building. building. Yep. Yeah. And then crazy joke. Crazy joke. Call me Batman. Yeah. Crazy. Joke. Right. Yeah. I mean, this, I mean, his rules in that school were no joke. Yeah. He said, if you could not sing the school song on demand, yeah. he was expelling you. Let me hear it. <laughs> Fair Fair Isa. Isa. <laughs> say that name, say that name. <laughs> <laughs> That's after they rewrote it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Powers rewrote it. I will wow. tell you the eighties was a good time for principal movies. Cause oh, yeah. there was also the principal with yeah. Jim Belushi. I will say though, as you two as <laughs> teachers and educators, Educators. Uh, the part where uh, he tells them in the gym that they will work Saturdays and all this, yeah. I don't think with unions oh, you can get away no. with that stuff yeah, now. No. So, and and Tom, Tom would, Berenger was the substitute. Uh, well, mm -hmm. That, one was, that was in the good. 80s. That's a you know, so, yeah, you had yeah. a lot of so teachers. A lot of, a lot of uh, teacher. Uh, yeah. There was a John Belushi the education movie system. where he was a principal, remember? The, no, it was Jim Belushi. Yeah. Jim Belushi. Yeah. That's the what I just said. Jim. Oh, my bad. Now you're not listening, David. Wow. The education system was a mess in the 80s, apparently. They were locking people in or, you know. We got to have people with bats, bats, yeah. all of it. The Same substitute was a name. military, you know, he's a ex marine <laughs> coming in to be a oh, yep. substitute. Gotta take care of it. Wow. <laughs> all right, Rob, that means this is your last pick. This rounds out your team. Make it a good one. Your uh, your movie team here. So what do you got? I'm going with the abyss. The abyss. Oh, yeah. the I, movie he I had asked to have for. Yep. You yes. asked for us to put yes. this on. The I list. love this movie. <laughs> All right. I Please tell it. us why. Okay. Well, it's <laughs> one, it's science fiction. It's J James Cameron. You got Ed Harris, Mary Elizabeth, Master Antonio, uh, Michael Bean. Uh, you got this, it's underwater. You got a, it, there's a, a sci fi element to it. Nice. It was nominated for Best Art Direction, Best Cinematography, Best Sound. It won the Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Um, won the Academy Award for, uh, let's see, Rotten Tomatoes, Critics 89, Audience 83. Mm. Uh, I liked it later in high school. I had a killer sound system uh, in my room. Ooh. And this movie sounds great on surround sound. Nice. And it's just, I like this movie all around. I had it and I owned it. I was in my collection and I Your liked collection. It. All right. I think I went missing in Feels college. like you've run out somewhere. of things to say yeah. about it I at loved this it. point. No, he okay. can keep going. Uh, Ed Harris almost died in this movie. So we had Ed Harris yeah. and Michael Bean in this movie because they yeah. were together in The Rock as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Yes. Yeah. So I, I will admit this is, of the 35 movies, I had four that I've never seen. Yeah. The Abyss is one of those movies. It's really good. So You should try it. It's good. I'll try it. I remember it being visually stunning, but yeah. I'm, I just remember thinking as nine, 10 year old, a little slow. Yeah. It When's is. things going to blow it up? Is, it is a little slow. Yeah. Roadhouse, then, very quiet. not slow. That's right. <laughs> Roadhouse, not slow. <laughs> Roundhouse kicks all Roundhouse the time. Roundhouse kicks to the face. Roadhouse. <laughs> I love that on Family Guy. Tearing <laughs> throats out. Whatever he goes, Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Yeah. <laughs> he just kicks people. <laughs> yeah. Tearing throats out. <laughs> so, yeah. all right, the abyss. That yep. means, Kurt, you have the last pick of the draft, and you actually have quite a few movies. Left I have quite a few that you can select from. And and you're going to pick something crazy. I you, know, but, you, yeah. you know, you know which one I'm going to pick. I don't, but let's and go for it. I'm going to say 
Oh, I'm, I know Rob, thank you for asking for more movies <laughs> because he threw this one in just for me. I did. Which one was it? It oh, is oh my Troop God. Beverly Hills. <laughs> Shelly wow. Long. Shelly Long in there as an uppity oh, wow. Beverly Hills lady who's going through a divorce. Terrible. It decides to be the head of a, a oh, Girl Scout troop. It's terrible. And the reason why I'm yeah, choosing why this like is it? I was discussing movies on my list with my wife and I remembered so much about this movie. I was like, I don't know how I many know times I've seen this, but when I can recite to you the cookie time song, <laughs> so because they're God. trying to win back their merit badges <laughs> so they don't get kicked out of the, the troops oh, and everything funny. else. And I was actually singing the song the other day when David was at my house and it's just, it's <laughs> just, a, it's just a memory. That's, I mean, the rival yeah. scout master gets kicked out of the scouts and she has to end up working at Kmart. Core calling memory out blue engaged. Light specials. Core memory nice. engaged. Yeah. It, yeah. It's weird because yeah. I can always say there's. I've aisle, seen it like twice. Aisle, there's attention Kmart shopper. There's a blue light special. Aisle 17 cookies. <laughs> By the way. And that's like almost how the movie ends. with. Yes. By the way, tying things together. One of the girls in the troop. She played Nikki on Miss Bliss. Ooh. She's in that oh, as well. That there is right. Go. She wow. was one of the characters that got canceled for Save by the Bell. She was on the one season. She was on the Miss Bliss. It comes full circle. It that's does. right. Look at that. Well, I will say I So said, that puts me over the top for all of you does. right there. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> my list is better than yours because the <laughs> truth Beverly Hills. It says nobody. It says <laughs> no. no person ever. Um, I, I said a minute ago, I'd never seen The Abyss. I, I didn't see four movies on this list, so okay. they weren't going to be draftable for me. I never saw Born on the Fourth of July. It just didn't look that exciting to me. Yeah, I've never Tom seen Cruise, that one. Tom Cruise yeah. uh, as a Vietnam vet. I'm sure it's great. I just never watched it. The License to Kill, that James Bond movie. Yeah. I wasn't a big James Bonder at that I time. I also have not seen that one. I think yeah. that was a Timothy Dalton one, too, it was. so it's it not was. the best yeah, James Bond. And then Tango and Cash. You'd think uh, what? Kurt Russell and Sylvester Stallone, right? Yes. You'd think that would have gone yeah. right? I've never it's, seen Tango and Cash. Wow. Great. Oh, they I, get. I didn't they, say it wasn't great. Wow. I'm just saying they I get, haven't seen it. They get so, framed for killing somebody, I go to jail, see, break I, out. I didn't it's a whole see thing. The, I didn't see that movie, but I saw the Sylvester Stallone movie with uh, Don't Shoot My Mom or whatever <laughs> it's called. Or Stop uh, Where My Mom Will Shoot. Stop Where My Mom Will Shoot with uh, the Golden Girls lady, yes, Estelle, Estelle Getty. Estelle Getty. Yes. So. Another, another one I never had watched was Do the Right Thing. Oh, okay. I watched it last I, night not, and part of and into this morning. Could you get into yeah. it? It was it was pretty it, good. It's a, it's a good movie. It really showed the what was happening in probably New York at that yeah. time. Yeah, and you got to see a good set of New York Rosie Perez boobs. You did oh. get to see them. So that was six thirty this New York boobs. Six thirty this morning, <laughs> I saw Rosie Perez boobs <laughs> just up on my big screen. It was a good way to wake up. Oh, be. I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh, be. <laughs> all right, we went to White right. Men Can't Jump. Right. Oh, that's nothing wrong. It's Rosie Perez. She's the same in all the movies. So. That's right. Uh, my favorite part of that movie is when he is the his... opening dancing with no. Rosie Perez. She's <laughs> dancing for ten straight minutes, <laughs> doing sucks. every corny it '80s hip hop dance move. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the part where he's got his brand new Jordans. And oh, the, and they step, and, and the, the guy dude steps on him. him, and he's like, "Oh my gosh!" Like he smudged his new Jordans. <laughs> the, the dude with the bird jersey the on, oh, the yeah. white dude with the bird jersey. Oh, yeah. He goes, "I'm Love from." It. I'm, I'm from, from New York. I'm from New York. Yeah. yeah. Oh, why are you wearing that bird jersey? So, <laughs> all right. Well, that gives us our top 21 movies of 1989. Let's review each team mm. and we can see who we think has the best. So, Rob, lead us off. Tell us your team. All right. So, I had Field of Dreams. Yes. Batman. Good. Back to the Future 2. Parenthood. Dead Poet Society. Glory and the Abyss. So outside of the abyss, which I haven't seen, I would say your other six are very solid movies. Yeah. Dead yeah. poets. I'm going to go dead poets. Okay, so I think you got five, five really good movies, and then you got one okay, and then you got one I haven't seen. Okay, so I can't That's say anything about that. That's fair. So that means Kurt, what, how does your seven stack up? They're fantastic. I mean, there's something. <laughs> <laughs> You've got. An I feel like list. I went off a little bit. I think I did the Rob thing, <laughs> you but did. I did yeah, just because of you just like because them, of me. That's yours, right. yours is the list where most average people are like. Oh, I don't know if I'd watch all those again, but go ahead. Right. So. I got well, I got Christmas Vacation. Perfect. I got Indiana Jones Last Crusade. Perfect. I got Roadhouse. Uh-huh. Yeah. I got Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. I got the Burbs. And I got Steel Magnolias. Good. Okay. And I got what True was my Beverly last Hills. Beverly Hills. Yeah. I, I think your first four are home runs. I think Roadhouse was the steel. 
It's a steal. Yeah, yeah I should have taken that earlier. I'm but that's shocked fine. that that didn't. Come I, I was yeah. shocked that it yeah. wasn't one of his one tops. Or two. But, yeah. but I, I had a couple others I had to get before that. So yeah. you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> steel Magnolia is okay. It's just too depressing for me. I, I, even the funny weasel parts <laughs> don't outweigh all the other things. <laughs> the funny parts. Um, and then True Beverly Hills, I've seen twice, and that's all I need to and ever that, see it again. No, nope, you need to see it every year. <laughs> so and the birds is birthday. weird. I've tried to watch yeah. that multiple times since '89, and I can't get through yeah. the whole movie. Oh, like, I, it's just too much, you know. Yeah. So I know I watched it last night for the first time in gosh years. And yes, it's very. It's dark. It's interesting. It's dark. It's yeah. a different take on. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, okay, so my I'll let you two, uh, you know, hack off on my list here. See what what are we think. gonna so, do? I got hack. Oh, okay. Off. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm getting old. I think I it's gracious. These headphones. <laughs> the new headphones. They're good. Oh, <laughs> but crazy. But I had to make sure I heard that clearly. <laughs> All right. So I got Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I've got Major League, uh-huh. Uncle Buck. Uh, I then took Weekend at Bernie's, UHF. Uh-huh. And to close it out. Oh, no. My last two were Lethal Weapon 2 and Lean on Me with okay. Crazy Joe. I, so. I'm just going to go. Our list really reflect who we are. Oh, I would nice. say so, yes. Yeah, I think they well, match us. I should have had Roadhouse, but that's my yeah. own fault. No, no, no. That's all right. Mine. That's all right. Oh, okay. no, I cannot they, have it. So. All right. Well, for all of us listening, if you think someone had a better list, go ahead and let us know, and we'll uh, share fair. that maybe on a future episode. Uh, I also reached out to our listeners, um, and I asked them what they thought the best movies of 1989 were. A lot of the votes we got, uh, Back to the Future 2, Batman, uh, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, UHF. So a lot that we... Um, uh, mentioned actually, they're all of them we mentioned already, except uh, when Harry Met Sally was not mentioned. Mm. And kick- I just said not into rom coms, that's yeah. my, that was my it. only note. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Kickboxer, good John Claude Van Damme movie. Well, oh, I, I, I thought you would have done that one. I'd consider that one of his lower <laughs> yeah. movies, but I'm ranking them. I've got you know, Bloodsport, Bloodsport Lionheart, I like yeah. quite a bit. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, I would get back to that one. So, yeah. but it's still pretty good. The dude with the hands, mm-hmm. you know, the big fighter, yeah, and, and the dance scene in the bar when he gets drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, good drunk, whole good drunk <laughs> dance thing. Yeah. So, all right. Well, the last thing I'll ask you then is, looking at the list we have left, if yeah. you could have drafted one more movie oh. off of what we have left, oh, what off would that we had movie? Left. Yeah, off. Well, I've got two for you. I'll give you two things. Of what we have left that didn't get drafted, what would you have added? And then, it, do you have a wild card movie that I didn't put on the list that you thought would have been good for 1989? So we'll start with you, Rob. Gosh, I think I would have. I would have probably drafted. Uh, Born on the 4th of July. No, oh, nice. I, I did think that was a good movie. All like the thinking acting, movies over mm-hmm. there. Um, I'm surprised you didn't get Driving Miss Daisy um, as well, right? No. Uh, <laughs> and I think one that I would add that I'd forgotten about that my sister and I remember watching is the movie Always. Yeah, I don't even know that movie. Yeah, that's a J- John uh, my wife Goodman, was explaining that Richard Dreyfuss, and, the, and hmm. uh, one of them dies, comes back as a ghost. It's a plane movie. Um, uh, anyway. So, and By I was way, like, oh, I totally remember that one. I didn't realize that when I was doing this, I said Rick Moranis times three because he was in yeah. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, uh, Ghostbusters 2, yeah. Parenthood, but Morgan Freeman, Lean on Me. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Glory. Yeah. And you just mentioned it. Uh, 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 what was it? Do it. No. Oh, what, was he in? Uh, what, what <laughs> just are, help him. He, he was in, what was he in? Driving Miss Daisy. Driving oh, Miss Daisy. Driving yeah. Miss Daisy. Oh, okay. he, was, he was literally yes. the driver. That's right. <laughs> he was driving no. Miss Daisy. He was yeah, driving I, Miss Daisy. I wouldn't have, I don't know that I liked that. Dan Aykroyd's in that know. movie too. Yeah. So Dan Aykroyd had a couple <laughs> yeah. movies also yeah. in 89. Yeah. So. No. Um, and then any movies, you said Always was your movie off the list. Yeah, I think that would have been one that, that's kind of the only one that I kind of remember that my sister reminded me. I was like, oh, he did like that movie a lot. All right. Good story. What do you got, Kurt? Um, From the list, um. Probably Turner and Hooch. Wow, good oh, one. Yeah, slobbering dog. That's right, slobbering I dog. More, I have to say, more Tom I Hanks don't know that in his I've underwear. Oh, you've never no, seen Tom Hanks? If in his I did, underwear? I saw it when Washing I was twelve. Oh, and so that I don't, I, you'll <laughs> laugh, you'll cry, Rob. That's, that's right. What'll happen? Well, it's Tom you Hanks. Will. So Tom Hanks and a dog uh, and a dog. So, so yeah. you might know what happens at the end with a dog. Dog buddy cop oh. movies were a big thing in the eighties. Yeah, you gotta love them. You gave it away. Gave it away. I didn't say anything. Do you have anything from off the list? Off the list. It's a movie called Gleaming the Cube. Oh, man. Gleaming the Cube. With Christian Slater yes. as a skateboarder. A, oh. Skateboarder. And I his that. Vietnamese adopted brother <laughs> is killed when he finds out a smuggling business is happening at work. Wow. So he gets all of his sneak skateboarding buddies, okay. including Tony Hawk, to help out. Wow. The funny thing I found out about that movie is Tony Hawk rarely skates. Oh. He's driving his mini like a Zuzu pickup truck because he's a delivery driver for Pizza oh. Hut. So he's driving guys oh, in the wow. back, never skating. Nice. I remember that movie. I'd 
I remember I remember of it. I brought it up I, to my wife you know, and I started explaining. She goes, Oh yeah, I remember that yeah. one. I was like, see, yeah. don't I'm I'm not terrible. Nice. I just like weird <laughs> things. Weird that, things. <laughs> yeah. That, well that was the eighties. That's right. That was, it was, was the, it was the end of the eighties. We all there like was some weird, weird things. things. Yeah. If you watch Batman again, there's a lot of weird That's right. things. So, well, my movie off the list that didn't get drafted, if I had one more pick, I probably would have gone with Harlem Knights. Oh, it's yeah. an Eddie Murphy movie. It's got Richard Pryor. It's got Red Fox. It's got, I mean, it's got Charlie Murphy. It's got everybody in it. I always thought it was funny. It's kind of a 20s mm-hmm. gangster, uh, you know, movie. I like the part where he fights the lady. She's in charge of the prostitutes. Yeah. And uh, the madam. Eddie, Eddie Murphy fights her and she beat the crap his, out of him. Kicks his ass. And then he pulls out his gun and he says, I'll shoot off your pinky toe. And then he ends up, <laughs> I can't believe he did it. You know what I mean? So uh, I always thought that was funny. What's really funny about that movie is when I got to high school, my freshman year, I was in a journalism class um, and taught by Mr. Fletchner. Uh, oh, I, went yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I went to school with his son and um, he, I had to review this movie. I was on the movie review team. I reviewed two movies. Oh, wow. I reviewed Harlem Nights and I removed a, <laughs> I reviewed a movie called Oscar. Oh, I went to yeah. the theater and watched with Sylvester Stallone, mm-hmm. Marissa Tomei. <laughs> wow. And if you go back, I it's think gold. I gave that five stars. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm pretty <laughs> sure it should have gotten zero that stars. No, no, five nice. was so right. I was not the next uh, Roger Ebert. That was not happening <laughs> out of the Milwaukee paper. Gosh, so. somewhere there, we got to find that review. I would love That's to right. get my hands on that. <laughs> I can only awesome. imagine how well written that is. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I had to type that up on like a typewriter in the class. <laughs> click, click, uh, click, 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 click. You know, in 1990. So that's what it is. So, well, I think that covers everything about, oh, well, not everything, but a lot about 1989 movies. I think we got a lot of good ones in there. Uh, if you'd like to contact Rob, Kurt, and I, which we always look forward to, you can find us on all the social media sites from Facebook to X, the artist formerly known as Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, to which we provided links in the show notes. Uh, but you can also just Google Totally 80s and 90s Recall, and all those locations will pop up, and you can find us anywhere you need to. Awesome. Uh, you can also find us at our website, totally 80s, 90s recall at podbean.com. And finally, feel free to email us at 80s, 90s recall at gmail.com, where you can ask questions about our, uh, about current or previous episodes, suggest future show ideas, or simply say hello. We look forward to hearing from all of our listeners worldwide. Worldwide. And okay. Kurt, if they found us on Apple or Spotify and like this show, what could they do? They should give you five stars Ooh. and in, in a review. Nice. You, know, you got to love it. Expand <laughs> it. Love give it, it to right. share it with other people. That's right. Share it with everyone. That's right. That's right. We're trying to make this the number Sell one it. podcast for 80s and 90s nostalgia. We there want to be your go-to 80s and 90s guys. You know, we you might be movie be guys. We might be movie boys, but we can also be 80s and 90s <laughs> guys. Right? You want to you grow <laughs> hey, up to boys. be the movie guys? <laughs> Do you see those two movie boys? Hey, we're, we're over here. They're at, those <laughs> movie guys, boys are at it again. <laughs> and what are they going to get into this week, folks? <laughs> They've got Weekend at Bernie's, too. <laughs> Ooh. Now we've turned into a 50s uh, <laughs> crime-fighting <laughs> duo. We're, gonna, we're a couple of robsters <laughs> yeah. over here. We've got Weekend at Bernie's, too. We've got a, a, a pizza from Little Caesars and two liters of Mountain Dew. Here we go, boys. <laughs> The movie uh, boys and the mystery right. of the unsolved blah blah blah. Blah, blah, blah. blah blah blah. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, blah, blah, I don't know. How about no. we? Uh, that'll segue us right into closing <laughs> thoughts. You got any closing thoughts, Rob? Uh, I do. I have a. As we send you away today, we want to leave you with some sage life advice, courtesy of Tom Hanks as Scott Turner from the 1989 classic Turner and Hooch. Ooh, perfect. Beautiful. These are some simple rules to live by. Uh, live by. Number one: don't bark. Number Oof. two: don't growl. Number three: don't lift your leg to anything in the house. Number four, no slobbering. Number five, no chewing. Number six, wear a flea collar. Number seven, do not beg for food. Number eight, there is to be no sniffing of crotches. Mm, what? And number nine, that's no fun. Do not drink from the toilet. You know those are nice. applicable, not just the dogs. That's right. No, no that's what I mean. I think people. that's to everybody. You and you know, not. you know what Rob's uh, wife always tells him mm-hmm. to go along with Turner and Hooch. This is not your room. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Uh, if I had a nickel for every time I I heard that, I wouldn't have to. Be a principal. Oh, that's that's great. (laughs) Perfect. All right. Well, let's all head to the lobby as the movies of 89 have rolled their closing credits. We hope you've enjoyed the draft and reliving all of our selections. Uh, We'll provide a list of all the draft picks in the show notes so you can look forward to a great movie night in the near future. Uh, We think it'll be a great movie night. Uh, We'll see what you think. Finally, we'd like to thank all of our listeners, whether first timers or subscribers, for hanging out with Rob, Kurt, and I. Hopefully, we gave you an hour or so of some laughs. And don't forget to tune in for all new episodes. Totally 80s and 90s recall every Tuesday. Tuesday. And like clockwork. What are we doing 
for, for next time. What's next our time, well, we're doing a movie. It's the 1988 Tom Cruise classic cocktail. Uh, Probably the greatest movie about bartending we could uh, ever do on this podcast. Ooh. The only movie and about bartending. And I have bartending. to miss it. Yes. Unfortunately, Kurt is putting his family first. Yeah, and he's I not going to be in the studio with us for this one. But, wow, look at you uh, being all. A- I get to go <laughs> sit in a dance competition. That's right. Wow. See, yeah, we see where your priorities lie. That's right, right my that's daughter. Right. Sorry. So, that's okay. That's cool. So, But we might have a special guest, so <laughs> let's tune that's in. Right. We haven't had any special guests. You're a, yeah. You were a special guest. I'm no once, longer special. I'm just a not, guest. <laughs> you're neither. You're not a special or a guest. You're yeah. our third, remember? Oh, we that's made right. You, we officially made you our third. And I don't like that's it. That's right. So, <laughs> uh, uh, our okay. official third. Well, Rob, do you have anything else? I don't. Uh, do you have any goodbyes in the area of being fancy? I do not have any goodbyes in the area of being fancy. <laughs> All right. Well, then that's it. All right. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, false starts left and right. <laughs> Do you know I was actually going to say that? I didn't mess up the whole freaking show. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Single tear. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Single tear gross. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>